Hello, I'm Dr. Sara, and this is a quick tour exploring Atomica S200 Intraworld Scanner software features. Let's start with the user interface, where you can seamlessly save your patient's data and choose whether your workflow it is a restoration or an implant. Before you start scanning, here are some features to explore. Our software is powered with AI to remove unnecessary data like tongue and cheeks. Just make sure that it's turned on before scanning. Also, marking shining here will allow enhancing scanning of shining objects like metal restoration or scan bodies. Auto exposure automatically adjusts the intensity of the light according to the different clinic environments, the degree of reflection of different scanning targets. During scanning, if you want to keep a certain area on the model without further updates, you can use the lock area tool to prevent it from being updated by additional scanning. As you can see here, the blue area does not change. Also, as you can see, there are hole highlighting on models with green to show you areas that need further scanning. Small holes are automatically filled. Finished scanning. Here are some features that you will surely need to enhance your model. Use the free lasso trimming tool to remove unnecessary data. According to your needs, you can switch between monochrome and the patient's hard and soft tissue actual color. You can also use the vivid display mood for better visibility. Check the undercut areas on the preparation site with the undercut check tool. It works in the direction where you place the model. You can also have an occlusal analysis that analyzes the interference between the maxilla and the mandible and displays the result through a color map. If you acquire occlusal contacts using an articulating paper, you can compare the digitized occlusion analysis and the articulating paper. To take measurements, generate cross-sections to check the 2D outline of the models and take accurate measurements. Finally, you can export the model in both STL and PL live formats. Then save to your disk or on the cloud storage so that you can access your patient data anywhere, anytime. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.